Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Indiana's tax prorations uh, in regards to purchasing a home and making sure the real estate taxes have been handled correctly. Hey, it's Jeremy Ward, Ward Realty Services. Just to back up a little bit, Indiana bills their taxes in the rears. So right now it's December 2023. So what we call that the fall session of 23. Uh, this payment wouldn't be due till the fall of 24. So when you go to buy a house, there's a section on the purchase agreement that says, hey, what do you guys want to do about the taxes? Probably 80% of the buyers and sellers out there like to do their tax proration, which basically says, uh, the seller will pay taxes for every day they've owned that home up until the day of closing. Their tax bill stops there. The buyer's tax bill will start that day moving forward. So what happens is the taxes are billed in arrear. So in 23, we're paying for 22. So if you was to close on a home today, you would basically own all of uh, 2023 taxes. So the title attorney would give the buyer a credit for that amount. Let's say it's a thousand bucks for a year's taxes. You're going to get a credit to the buyer from the seller for that year as a taxes. And then when you purchase the house, you'll take that credit and pay all of 2023's bill when it's due in 2024. So it's a little bit crazy how Indiana does it. We're like I say, we do it in the rears. Kentucky does it right on time. Uh, but that's a question that we get a lot. Uh, I won't try to go through and show you the proration formulas and stuff, but it's basically done by day. We just break the yearly uh, bill down uh, by the days of the year, and that's how much you owe per day. So if you own 180 days, you'll pay 180 days worth at closing. So for more questions or concerns about tax prorations, give one of our ward agents a call. We'd be more happy to sit down and explain it to you. For more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.